Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Here's a fun fact about me. I love hair. I love doing my hair. I, I love doing multiple people's hair. I love curling it, braiding it, leaving it down, putting it up. Any way you can do hair, I love doing it. And there is just something about hair on covers of books that just... <sighs> normally the historical ones because they normally go all out for the hair either with buns or curling or whatever they do, those are normally the covers that I'm just like, <gasps> her hair is gorgeous, I wish I could do this with my hair. Today I'm going to be talking about a couple of my favorite historical covers with some of my favorite hair. These again are the books that I have on my personal shelves. I've seen some gorgeous covers out there with some gorgeous hair that I personally don't own and these are only my historical at the moment. But if you would like to see more of those, these videos with different uh, genres, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to make these videos for you. The first book is A Most Peculiar Circumstance by Jen Tirano. I love how super, super curly her hair is. It's super fun and the hat just adds a bit of quirkiness to it and it definitely embodies the character very, very well. The next book is Heart on the Line by Karen Whitmire. And this is a very simple bun that's twisted, but it's, again, kept very simplistic. And I, there's just something about a simple bun that is just as beautiful to me as a curly bun. This is A Note Yet Unsung by Tamara Alexander. This is a super intricate, super elegant bun and hairstyle that I could only wish that I could do. The Promise of Breeze Hill by Pam Hillman. And this is just this gorgeous braid with this curl coming out of the side. Definitely a hairstyle that my sister pulls off very well and quite often actually. The next book is another super simple one that I really really love and that is A Song Unheard by Rosanna M. White. And this is actually a bun that I do quite often. Not always with the middle part but definitely something kind of loose with tendrils coming down around my face, but one that I love to do because it's so easy and so simple and I just love it on this character. And again, it's kind of simple. I have something for simple hairstyles as much as I do elegant ones and super intricate ones, but this one is from A Bride at Last by Melissa Jagers. Another hairstyle that I do quite a bit because I have a lot of hair and I don't always want it in my face. But I love this one and I love the wispies as my sister and I call them down in her face and I just think it's very pretty. The next one is a little bit more intricate than the ones before it and that is from A Heart Most Certain also by Melissa Jagers and it just has this twisted bun still kind of simple but something that could definitely be done quick and easy but still looks like you spent more than three seconds on your hair. This one is from Out of the Ordinary by Jen Tirano again kind of simple if you've seen my Happy Birthday Jen Toronto video, Happy Book Birthday Jen Toronto video, you can see that I tried to recreate this hairstyle. It, you can watch the video, it didn't happen very well, but I tried. And it's this super, again, simple chignon down at the base of her neck. And it's just very pretty and simple. And how many times can I say simple? Somebody count. And the last book that I'm going to be talking about is playing the part by Jen Tirano and it is this really pretty wavy curly updo with the wispies down coming from the side of her face again and it's just super super pretty and those are some of my favorite styles that happen to all be favorite updos so if you'd like to see some of my favorite covers with hair down please let me know if you would like to see other genres please let me know. What was your favorite cover from these and what's your favorite cover on your bookshelf that has an updo? I would love to know. And do you prefer, prefer your hair up or down and do you enjoy doing hair? I just all got all kinds of questions. I'm a very curious person. It's just me. Don't forget you can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com, and you can also check out my Instagram which is for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!